This video will look at interpreting speed time graphs to find acceleration. The graph that you can see here has time in seconds on the x-axis and velocity in meters per second on the y-axis. We're going to begin by looking at the three segments of the graph labeled A, B, and C. And what I'm going to do is slide my graph out of the way for further examination. And now let's begin by looking at segment A, which is highlighted in green. Time for that segment increases from zero to four seconds and velocity increases from zero to eight seconds. So what we can say is there's a positive acceleration as well as there's an increase in velocity. For segment B, I've highlighted it in yellow. There is an increase in time, but there is no acceleration because there is a constant velocity. What we start with at the beginning of the segment is the same velocity that we end with at the end. Segment C is highlighted in red, and there's an increase in time, but there is a decrease in velocity. So with segment C, what we can determine is there's a negative acceleration. The object is slowing down as a result of the decrease in velocity. The last graph we'll look at has time in seconds on the x-axis and velocity in meters per second on the y-axis. To begin the scenario, we're going to start at the origin, 0, 0 and we're going to increase in time and increase in velocity. So therefore, we'll have a positive constant acceleration. The second segment increases in time, yet velocity remains constant. So there will be no acceleration because there's no change in velocity. The third segment will also have a positive constant acceleration. The fourth segment is horizontal, so we will have no change in velocity, therefore no acceleration. And the fifth segment is decreasing in velocity, so therefore we're going to have a negative acceleration. The object will be slowing down and eventually come to a stop. 